Hi, this is Michael Buffer, and you're watching Dante's 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 Boxing Nation. Dante's Dante's Dante's, Dante's Boxing Nation. Larry, uh, ESPN and a lot of other people, they rated Floyd Mayweather as the greatest fighter in the last 25 years. With Floyd Mayweather being the fighter that you love, <laughs> well, uh, what, do you agree with that assessment? Disagree with that? Where do you rate him? I, uh, I you know, I, I respect uh, his uh, his skill, uh, his desire to be. Dominant, uh, his ability to uh, market and promote himself, and all that. But uh, I like to call what I sometimes call boxing prize fighting, and uh, to me, uh, uh, that means style as well as substance. And I don't think that. Uh, Style-wise, that he has earned that kind of accolade. Or accolade that I can name a number of fighters over the last 25 years that I'd rather um, watch. Would you rather? So yeah. So you're saying that on a, from a personal perspective. You, you're saying that he may not be the favorite person to watch, but in terms of accolades, you can see where people come from. They rate him that high. Is that yeah, what you mean? I think it came along at a, at a at a good moment when there was a, a vacuum in American heavyweights, light heavyweights, middleweights. Somebody was out there, and he seized that moment mm -hmm. to his credit. But uh, I think watchability. Uh, Excitement? Uh, does he move me in? Does a, a, a performer of any kind move me in some way? You know, um, just because you can hit all the notes doesn't mean you can make the best music. Uh, <laughs> and, and I, you know, is he a better fighter than, than Amanda Holyfield? Give me a break. You. <laughs> You, you think skill-wise, Holyfield is better than um, Floyd no, Mayweather? No, I think as a fighter. As, as a fighter. As a Holyfield fighter. is... I want to see every Holyfield fight. Okay? What? Win or lose. Okay. Tough fight. I'm going to see a good fight. I'm going to see a, a guy maximize... I mean, his fights with Bo... Whoa! Oh, uh, yeah. No <laughs> doubt about it. No um, doubt about it. And... Um, I could uh, name some others. Uh -huh. But what about Floyd against Canelo? He's going against a, a guy 15 pounds bigger than him. He's walking him down. Listen, the commentators I, are saying it's, it's extremely entertaining. And even against Cotto, he had a bloody nose. He's fighting him on the ropes. They're going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. What about fights like that? I, 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 the, the Cotto fight was a particularly, you know, it's all relative. It comes with expectations. If, if you see... Um, uh, uh, Mayweather get a bloody nose. You think, wow, this is a real fight. Uh, okay, but I, 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 I'm not. I'm not saying he wasn't a, a top fighter. Yeah. You're asking me whether there are other fighters of his time. To me, Pacquiao's a better fighter. You think Pacquiao's better? Yeah. How does that work, though? Pacquiao's better, but he can't beat him. How does that work? Uh, um, because uh, Pacquiao fought everybody in their primes. Floyd, but he those. fought a lot of guys after Floyd beat him, though. No, not not the not when he was a featherweight. When he was when he was fighting Morales and Barrera uh -huh. and those kind of guys, they were hell of, they were hell of a good f fighters and they were damn good fights. But can't you say the same thing about Floyd, Corrales, Gennaro Hernandez? I remember hearing you guys, you and Jim Lampley, the, both saying as a lightweight, if he if, as a lightweight, he was a much a more entertaining. Fighter, he, uh -huh. he would. If you, if you look at his at his record mm -hmm. as a lightweight, yeah. where most of his knockouts occurred, uh -huh. stoppages. Yeah. Um, but later on, he was just business, and and he was able to outbox 
bigger, slower guys, and uh, I, I don't, I mean, that's in the record. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, I don't question that. And the, the question is, is he the best, to me, the best prize fighter last generation, say? No, not to me. But that's just, Who is? just just an opinion. I don't know. You know what? I don't know. I don't even think that way. Okay. okay? I um, I think that Mosley and De La Hoya and uh, Jones and their primes uh, fought much more entertaining fights. Okay. And, Once and again, that's, this... a, that's a measure to me. Yeah. And and and. Uh, Holyfield, and I'm probably missing, you know. You see, yeah, there's a lot of entertaining fighters, no doubt. Not, not I mean, just, Gaddy and War were entertaining no, too. No, no, Gaddy, I understand, was a just a high-level club fight fighter. I'm not saying Gaddy, but and we love fights, but I'm talking about guys who are elite fighters, mm -hmm. who who uh, m moved you emotionally in some way. Uh, okay, and uh, that's just a personal uh, prism. Yeah, exactly. That I'm looking at through. Absolutely. You know, and that's um, fair. Your personal perspective you know, is understandable. Uh, uh, and with my own personal baggage and my own personal <laughs> everything, um, uh, and it's not like I never gave him credit for being the wizard. Uh, that he was in, in, uh, uh, technically, but when a guy comes out of the dressing room with his first two priorities being not to get hit, I'm usually not interested in him. <laughs> what, but what fighters do you think actually like to get hit? Because even the brawlers, they put their hands up and they're blocking. But I'm not saying you go out there to be hit, but if you fight like you're never going to get hit. Mm -hmm. uh, to me, you've signed up for price fighting, okay? And uh, that includes boxing. It doesn't exclude boxing. But it also includes taking risks mm -hmm. from time to time, okay? But I don't, Larry, I don't see too many fighters that's willing to move up five weight classes like Pacquiao or Floyd Mayweather and fight bigger guys and exchange with them. Floyd, he walked down a bigger guy, Canelo. Now you have big guys like Golovkin and other fighters. They're kind of hesitant when it comes to moving up one or two weight classes. So can't you give Floyd credit for doing credit. something like that? I give him credit. I give him credit. Because not so many uh, people are willing but, to do that, fight bigger I, fighters. I give him credit, but... Uh, uh, <laughs> Sometimes when, when a, a fighter moves up in weight because he's been maybe run out of competition. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or maybe that's where the money is. Okay. Um, if the fighter is a predominantly a boxer, it's not necessarily good news that he can outwit and how quick, uh, bigger, slower guys. It's the David and Goliath concept, you know, right? But, but, uh, I don't, in my mind, I don't downgrade him as a, as a boxer and a presence. And, but I, just think that other fighters, prize fighters, were were entertaining, were thrilling at times, and that they make the sport. Mm -hmm. They make the occasional pure boxing style star possible. If everybody fought like Mayweather, there wouldn't be any boxing. <laughs> you believe that? <laughs> Because more more people watch Mayweather than anyone else, though. And, and when I, I talk as to I said, it was to his credit, the use of the media, um, through his skill, um, his marketing, he did. He did all of that, and good for him. I cover 
um, amateur boxing a lot, and I asked the kids in the um, national tournaments who their favorite fighter is. The majority of them actually said Floyd Mayweather was their favorite fighter. Does that surprise you? No, because his because in 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 the bad old days of boxing, his style would have been considered an amateur style. And if, why wouldn't it, amateurs? who go out there to outpoint their opponents, basically. So you think Floyd has an amateur style? I'm just saying that once upon a time, guys who were just pure boxers had a hard time making it. Not as, not making a living, not winning titles, but of being that kind of a star. When all the excitement ended when the first bell started, and then began again when the last, when the, when the fight was over. <laughs> wow. Okay. You. All right. Well, let me let me ask you before I, I let you go. Since we're here at the Ward versus Kovalev uh, weigh-ins, break the fight down, Larry. How does it play out? If you had to lean towards someone, who would you lean towards and why? Um. My brain tells me Ward because the. Elite boxer generally prevails in these kinds of high-level showdowns. My my belly tells me Kovalev because he's the bigger, stronger, and he can box as well. Mm -hmm. And Gennady Golovkin, you talked about you like the, the entertainment value and the toughness. Do you want to see him ever move up in weight? And if he, like you said, people sometimes run out of challenges. A lot of people, they want to see him against the War Kovalev winner uh, or, or even Canelo. Do you think he should fight both of those guys? One of them, what do you think? Yeah, I think, I think if he can get the Canelo fight, uh, he needs to and keep building his reputation. That, that's what he should aim for, uh, which I think he'll get. Because I think Canelo would like to fight him. Um, and then, if he's successful, yeah, move up a level and, and fight bigger guys, sure. Uh, I mean, he was a guy I almost, you know, it was almost love at first sight. You know, I watched him for 30 seconds and I said, who is this? Wow, this is, this is the way middleweights used to fight. Uh, <laughs> so where do you rate him right now, pound for pound? I Top think, 10. I think he's the best fighter out there. Right. You think he's number, will you put him number one? Right now, yeah. Even after the winner of Kovalev, uh, 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 Ward? I don't know, I'm not, I'm not an expert in ra ratings. You're but, just going off of who you personally like, right? But, but to me, he's one of the, uh, Elite fighters you must watch. Oh, absolutely. If you care about boxing. Absolutely. Thanks for your time, Larry. Appreciate it, man.